Hello, Bera. Hello, Bella. So now we are going to talk about the film from the USA, yeah. Columbus, by uh, filmmaker Kogonada. What can you tell us what charmed you in this film that you selected it for this year's competition? I've seen rarely films that were able to display such a level of concentration and uh, relevant aesthetic in their framing. This film is about how architecture, how images of balance are related to the human condition. It's about two people who are lost in their own little universe, if you will, and they meet and they talk, which is all very basic, but it's framed in a way with architecture with a very simple thought. Something comes into balance because something is slightly off balance. Mm -hmm. And you can see it, you can feel it in a way that is not in your face. Very human because it's about architecture. Brilliantly done, I think. Yeah, this is a film uh, that also has a lot of warmth for me when I saw it. Uh, it made me somehow happy, even if, if it deals with very serious uh, things like uh, mother-daughter relationship, father-son relationship. I actually think it's kind of a, uh, it's very nice that you see it that way because I think it's a very happy, warm film. It's yes. not, okay, so there's people that are sick, etc. in the background, but that's not what it's about. It's about connecting on a very basic human level. Yeah, humanity, that's it, yes. Thank you so much, looking yeah. forward to see it. Columbus. I don't really give a shit. Is that right? Yeah. You'd be surprised how little people know or care about architecture here. Maybe not. What do you mean? I don't know shit about architecture or care. I don't believe you. It's true. I'm just like everyone here. You grow up around something and it feels like nothing. Good morning, Kogonaga. Welcome to the 46th International Film Festival Rotterdam and congratulations on your film Columbus at the Tiger World competition this year. Thank you. Uh, you just came from Sundance where okay. you had the US premiere. Yes. Um, was it, how was it? Um, it was uh, overwhelming, but uh, really appreciated. It was fantastic. It was a, uh, we had a good premiere and really good screenings there. So uh, Very nice. We are looking forward to your uh, premiere will be tonight. Yes. So we are looking forward to show your film to our audiences. Mm. Um, I've uh, Googled you a little bit and <laughs> found out you are a, actually a famous uh, editor and uh, essayist on... Uh, you have a wonderful uh, website, by the way. Oh, I went you. through it. And you do video essays on uh, famous filmmakers and other subjects. Yes. I was wondering, when was it? Was it a natural step for you to... Did you think long about it, to make <laughs> a picture film, a fiction film mm -hmm. yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, for me, the goal was always to make a feature film. You I, know, it yes, was, yeah, okay. right. So I studied. Um, ac I was in academia, and mm -hmm. I was uh, looking at aesthetic theory of film and time. And during this time, I thought, oh, I want to make films, not just uh, write about it. So mm -hmm. I was doing research, but I quit, and then started making uh, short films, documentaries. Um, but, you know, I was trying to make a living, so I was making a, a, a little uh, documentaries and commission pieces. And at one point, I thought, oh, I have to talk about cinema again because this is why I quit. Mm -hmm. And so I started making these essays. Mm -hmm. All the while, you know, when I quit uh, my academia, it was always to try to make a feature. But, you know, it takes a long time to get to that point. Uh, so um, then, because I made these essays and they had a, a good response and mm -hmm. There are some people who started becoming very interested, and people started asking me, "Can you? Are you going to ever do something longer?" And of course, that was always my wish. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So for me personally, I've always wanted to make a feature film. So it's uh, the end of a, a long road, you know, for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And fulfilling of your dream. For sure, <laughs> Ab absolutely, yes, yes. Your film is following actually two main characters. It's Jean and Casey. Yeah. Jin is a, a, a son of a famous architect who falls in coma. Mm -hmm. 
Casey is a, a local librarian in Columbus, mm -hmm. and they meet uh, by coincidence and they spend some time together. We can talk about it uh, later on. What I was interested in, for me, there is also a third character, and mm -hmm. that's Columbus. Yes, yes. Um, it's great how you show the modernistic architecture mm -hmm. and how it plays a role also mm -hmm. in the relationship of these two characters. Mm -hmm. um, so I was wondering where does, what was the first idea? Was uh -huh. it the idea of these two characters to develop it? Or the other way around, <laughs> uh, yeah. the other way around, there was Columbus first mm -hmm. that that influenced you so much that you thought I have to make a film. Yeah, I mean, it really was like a dance between the two things. I had mm -hmm. a, I knew I wanted to make a feature, and I think I always knew that I wanted it to be about the bond between children and parents and mm -hmm. uh, the burden of that for mm -hmm. children. You know, I, um, my father is getting older. My mm -hmm. both of my parents are getting older, so that's been on my mind. Mm -hmm. And now I have two young kids, so the separation from both of them mm -hmm. were very much on my mind. So I knew that this relationship to absence, like what's going to happen, was very important to me. So I had been thinking about that, and then I heard about this uh, town, uh, Columbus. Mm -hmm. uh, I read it in the newspaper, and it was so fascinating to me. So I visited the town, not for the film, but just out of my own curiosity. I love architecture. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw this town, all of a sudden, I, the story that I had been working on in my head, immediately I thought, I have to make a film in this okay. town. And once I knew the town, the story mm -hmm. became much more clear. I didn't know. That's so it was very much the dance. You know, once the, I, I saw the place, then it, it really had a different relationship to the story. And, um, mm -hmm. and there was a real partnership between that, the story and the place. And uh, they both informed each other quite a mm -hmm. bit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so also the character, like the father was... Uh, originally also architect? No, he wasn't. Yeah, right, right. So that changed, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knew that um, that there would be some of that. And I think originally my idea was a father and a daughter, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, uh, okay. But uh, once I saw the place, I, it, it became really clear that, oh, the father is here because, you know, and I knew that mm -hmm. I wanted mm -hmm. the son to be not from the place, you know. So, uh, right, so it wasn't originally uh, an architect, you mm -hmm. know, but once I saw the place, I thought, oh. Now okay. how nice, very nice how it works together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What also very much uh, interested me was this uh, daughter and mother relationship, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you, it's obvious and it's very strong in the film, this uh, parents-children relationship, mm -hmm. but this one is quite an original one, because usually what you say, it's, children taking care of parents, yes. but now you have uh, the actually quite a young girl, a woman, yeah. taking care of her uh, mother. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So where does this idea come from? Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, I, I mean, in some ways this story is, uh, even though the setup is about the father and son, it really is about this daughter. You know, I think mm -hmm. for me the story is about this daughter who, um, you know, feels burdened about her mother. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think daughters are amazing. You know, mm -hmm. I, my, I'm married to a daughter, uh, a wife who uh, wanted to take care of her father as she was dying. This was mm -hmm. happening. Uh, and she has always felt very responsible mm -hmm. of her children. I have two older sisters who are just the same way. Mm -hmm. They feel responsible for the family in ways mm -hmm. that I think sons are a little different, you know. I don't think all sons are so, but I think, <laughs> I think daughters... Yeah for some reason, feel so responsible for mm -hmm. the family. And but she's so, very young. She's that, really young, yeah, yeah. That's what's, uh, mm -hmm. what's well, I, I, I understand that's sure. true, yeah, yeah. but it happens more than when they are They get older, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and because it is, um, you know, because she's the only child and she doesn't know her father, it is just those two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think that they are kind of like best friends, but I think the daughter feels so responsible for the mother. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was living in Chicago, I worked with a colleague. Um, they were from the inner city and she was uh, the only daughter and her mom was her best friend. 
Um, and, you know, I always thought, and they did everything together, mm -hmm. you know, and she worked really hard for her mom. And uh, so I know that I've seen that kind of story is sort mm -hmm. of familiar to me, you know. Also, I'm a big fan of Ozu, you know, right. and uh, that you always see, you know, uh, he has always explored daughters and their own feeling of that responsibility. So all of that is very... I was going to ask you, <laughs> I love the, the gentleness uh, in, in your film. There is something so warm, mm. even though it is a sort of dramatic story, mm. but there is still a lot of warmth, which is striking nowadays because mostly you have very dark films. Mm -hmm. I don't want to generalize, but uh, the, when a film like yours uh, appears, we were uh, happy. <laughs> oh, good. So uh, my question was, uh, which or who, uh, which uh, filmmakers are actually your the ones that you love? Mm -hmm. I, I, I understood Ozu uh, already. Maybe some more. Uh, yeah. So uh, you know, I like Ozu and Koryeda Hirokazu. Mm -hmm. I like uh, uh, Aseas or Aseas uh, mm -hmm. um, quite a bit. I like. Um, Oh, so many, but Linkletter, Richard Linkletter, mm -hmm, Romare, mm -hmm. Different Truffaut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do, I do like the so, humanist tradition. Yeah, okay. You know, I think that's, that's important I to me. To. And um, I, you know, for me, I knew that I wanted in this film to do something visually very formal. You know, I knew, mm -hmm. but I also wanted it to be warm. You know, I did, sometimes I think formal films can feel very alienating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think modernism can sometimes feel yeah. alienating. Yeah. So my desire was to make a kind of modernism that was also really warm and yes. human and And inviting. you managed. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I wonder how. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how was it for you to, because this was the first time you worked with the uh, actors. Uh -huh. Yes. Was it difficult? Did you give them a chance to work together with you to create in a creative yeah. sense? You know, my, well, my producer, uh, especially early on, was really good to say, oh, you should meet each one of them before we... We didn't have any mm -hmm. auditions, so it was really okay. based on me seeing some of their work and us uh, talking together. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what was, I think it was great that I had some work that they could see online mm -hmm. because by the time they met me, they already knew what I, uh, what influenced me and all of that. Mm -hmm. So um, it was really great. Uh, so that our conversations with each of them, especially the two leads, John and Haley Lou, mm -hmm. I connected really deeply. We felt really connected. Um, but that, yeah, I hadn't worked with actors like this yeah. before. And it turned out to be the most surprising and really delightful. We, I, I didn't know how that would work. I knew visually I felt really strong about what I might be able to create, but um, my relationship with the actors were, was so meaningful. Mm -hmm. It was uh, really fantastic. And part of that is because they were all really good humans who wanted to do this work. Mm -hmm. There was no, you can feel it, no yeah. drama or anything like that. But no. so you had a, a, a script uh, that you, with yeah. the dialogues, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, right. they had to strictly follow or? Yeah, yeah. there was no imp improv. No, no, was, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, they were good about that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh, and they responded to the script, uh, so. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that part. I'm eager to do it again, and I, I, I didn't know how that would be, but I, I, I loved working with the actors. Okay. It was fantastic. Yeah. So you loved the experience. So yes. I was going to ask you, what's the next? Uh huh. What's your next project? Mm. What's your next? Yeah, so there are a few projects that mm -hmm. I'm starting to talk about uh, and develop. Um, so we're still in the development phase, but I, yeah. So I you have some. Uh, definitely have some other. Uh, narratives and I hope to make them soon you know I feel like yes. I'm I, I feel like I don't want to wait too long and mm -hmm. so hopefully we have a, another film maybe in Rotterdam again I was going to <laughs> <laughs> maybe or maybe shoot in Rotterdam uh, mm. if you are so fascinated by uh, yeah. architecture this is the real uh, city for you to... yes I mean if I could shoot every film within the context of architecture I would do it because I think it's so <laughs> Wow that's nice yeah, yeah. actually it's yeah, a nice yeah. concept <laughs> <laughs> I would do it I think film is a great uh way to present architecture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we only see it in photos so that the buildings just become an object, you know. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, these spaces that are built are meant to be moved through and to walk and live. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if our only relationship are as very static uh, visual yeah. photographs, we don't really understand the no. architecture. So it's only 
as we move through them and it's an everyday experience and that's why I think cinema can capture that in a way that not a lot of mediums can yes. so yeah yeah I would Fantastic. love to do that mm -hmm. very original you are right we just live here and we don't we are not aware of that's right. this uh, interaction and uh, we right. just take it as obvious yes uh, yeah 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 Okay, thank you so much, Kogonada, for uh, this interview. Um, we would like to wish you all the best luck for tonight's premiere and for uh, this year's competition, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.